Good afternoon, guys. My name is Brandon, and today we're going to be doing a real simple task. Um, I've been super busy lately uh, trying to get videos out. Um, you know, just like all of you guys, life catches up. So, um, what I got to do today is I got to go to my mom's house. She put her car away for storage for this winter, um, and when she did, uh, the battery didn't get disconnected. And so what that caused it to do is the battery is now dead once we got it out of storage. And this battery is brand new before it was put up for storage. Um, so I'm pretty confident that it's going to take a charge. Uh, so my mission today is I'm going to go to my mother's house. She lives about 35 minutes away, 35, 40 minutes. Um, I'm going to go to her house. I'm going to grab the battery out of her car. Uh, bring it back to my house. I'm going to charge it overnight for 24 hours on a slow charge uh, Then I'm going to load test the battery to make sure that it didn't kill any of the cells in the battery by being drained all winter And then we're going to bring it back and we're going to try it out. So that's the mission Let's get going that sit overnight and see what happens all right so it's the next day let's go see if this thing will take a charge now all right so if you have a um, multimeter all you got to do is put your positive on your positive take your negative lead put it on the negative side of the battery okay we're reading 12.8 so that's good and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna load test it so this isn't something that many probably have but uh, what it does is it just connects to the battery and it simulates a load on the battery and it'll give you a readout to let you know if it's any good after you're done testing it and you can also do this by taking your battery to uh, your local auto parts store they'll do all this stuff for free but I have the tools so I just don't want to mess with it so the way that work this works is we're gonna hit this load switch hold it for 10 seconds and then we're gonna see what the reading is after that and it'll tell us the condition of the battery Right now it's saying it is low to good. So let's uh, give it a 10 second load. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if you look in there with a 10 second load, it's saying it is good. So that's a good battery. It held its charge. There, I consider that a success. So let's go back to mom's house and put the battery in. Yeah, just push the put, always put your foot on the brake. Yeah. 
Here we go. That's a success, right, Adri? Oh, yeah.